I thought I'd put together some of my favourite Christmas stories and moments from the series to keep you in the festive spirit. Enjoy. <laughs> There may be some people here who are not into Christmas. Nothing can get them in the festive spirit. Well, how about a baby going down a toy aisle for the first time? Still not there? How about this? beginning to look like Christmas. I love Christmas. Do you know what I love the most? Giving presents. Although apparently, not everyone agrees. More than one in five women, that's 21%, spend nothing on their dad at Christmas. <laughs> that is absolutely disgraceful, you terrible, terrible witches. <laughs> he used to carry you around in his balls and you can't be bothered <laughs> to get him a little bit of aftershave. Brilliant getting your dad a present, cos he's the only one who's honest. What the fuck is this? <laughs> my sister got my dad a book called Clear Your Clutter. He put it straight on the fire. <laughs> she started crying. He was like, what? I'm doing what I said! <laughs> Poor dads. If we don't do something, how long before we see adverts like this? One in five dads won't open a Christmas present this year. All I wanted was some socks. Dads. <laughs> They're not all wankers. <laughs> now, have you seen how some people are choosing their presents? Almost one in ten Britons, 8%, even admits to checking the receiver's browser's history for gift-giving inspiration. Holy shit. <laughs> that is going to make Christmas morning awkward. <laughs> Thanks, Nan. A Pornhub membership. <laughs> What have you got, Dad? The same. <laughs> I tell you what, I hope my mum's done that with my brother. That'd be so... Come outside, Daniel. Seems as how much you like fake taxis, I got you a real one. <laughs> That's quite awkward for anyone in the room who didn't get the joke, who sat next to <laughs> somebody really laughing. <laughs> nah, talking. <laughs> what he's talking about, love. Talking. <laughs> talking of filth. Have you heard about this? Sex toy Christmas crackers are here. Instead of jokes, a company has put dildos in crackers. <laughs> Correct noise. The last thing a Christmas dinner needs is a vibrator. <laughs> Just your auntie, look, this draft excluder's got balls. <laughs> Smart, didn't it? I don't remember the wise men rocking up with sex toys. <laughs> we bring gold, frankincense, and brrrr. The Falga Square Christmas tree dazzles Londoners on arrival from Oslo. Did it? <laughs> Did it dazzle people? It looks like it's got some kind of disease and all the leaves have fell off. <laughs> He's not wrong. Look at this withered mess. Look at it! <laughs> Still, could have been worse. Creepiest ever Christmas tree with talking face appears in shopping centre. You're telling me it's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, kids. Let's watch the Christmas tree have a stroke. <laughs> I don't want to take the piss out of a lazy eye. <laughs> <laughs> but that eye... That eye is so lazy, it probably works for the government. <laughs> Bakery chain Greg's has been accused of offending Christians with this nativity scene depicting baby Jesus as a sausage roll. <laughs> they replaced Jesus with a sausage roll. <laughs> it's brilliant. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus is a steak bake instead. <laughs> This was such a big story. Good Morning Britain even interviewed people. Some of them were livid. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Others... <laughs> others not so much. Looks tasty. I'd eat it. 
One guy really lost it. It's not funny, it's disrespectful, it's arrogant, it's the lowest of the low, and Craig should hang their heads in shame. <laughs> it's the lowest of the low. It's a sausage roll, mate. It's not Jimmy Savile. <laughs> it's just a bit of fun. I mean, look at it. <laughs> it looks like the Three Kings are going, we've wasted our lives. <laughs> <laughs> The star, you said. I got a big bag full of myrrh, Balthazar. I don't even know what myrrh is. <laughs> what do you mean, keep my voice down? It's not a baby, it's a fucking sausage roll. <laughs> <laughs>
My favourite Christmas memory of all time always revolves around family feuds. And the thing I remember was two years ago, filming my mum and dad on Instagram Live for about 70 minutes while they tried to get a Blu-ray to work in the DVD player. They nearly got divorced, physical violence was threatened upon each other, and the whole time, my mum had a Santa hat on. Christmas 2012, when my dad bought me a television. I can't. My favourite Christmas moment ever was when I got myself a Christmas present because no other bastard was going to buy me shit. So I wrapped up this Christmas present, I put it under the tree, and I tried to forget what the Christmas present was. And then I went down on Christmas Day, opened up the present, and I was like, shit, man, I got this Pearl Jam CD. I was pretty surprised. I didn't know who the fuck got me this shit. I'll let you into a secret here. Is everyone who doesn't technically celebrate Christmas, but you still get the time off. That's like a cheat code, isn't it? Sometimes you have to pretend you celebrate Christmas, though, where your manager says, yo, come sweep the floors and that. Don't say My favourite Christmas moment ever is, is when the presents eventually stop barking. <laughs> it's all quiet. We were eating a mince pie and I hadn't come out to my mum and dad and there was something about the mince pie that I thought, I'm going to do this now. So I said, Mum, Dad, I'm gay. And my mum looked at me and went, I love you, amazing. Now we eat a mince pie. <laughs> Terrible news. Archaeologists may have found Santa's skeleton. Or, as Newsweek put it, Santa is dead. <laughs> well, I think we can all agree that's going to change the Christmas songs. They've eaten his head, they've eaten his toes, there's worms coming out of his eyes and his nose. Santa Claus is dead in the ground. <laughs> Kids like that, ah! Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was out of work and really screwed. The elves came along with mincers and ground him up into dog food. <laughs> One more, one more, right? <laughs> Jingle bells, Santa smells, cos he's fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> the stench is so unbearable, there's maggots in his head. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I really I had a lot of fun writing those songs. Now, to be honest, it's not that hard to freak out kids. Some of them are just shocked by the idea of Santa coming around their house. Yeah, he's gonna come to your house. What the f? Oh. <laughs>